Now that you've recorded your report, what's next? Well, the next thing is to put in some great visuals so it looks more interesting. First, go to iMovie. Now, you're going to create a project by pressing the plus sign. You're going to make a movie, and you're going to make a simple movie, so make sure it's set on simple. Press Create Movie. Now, you're going to find your clip. You're going to head, go ahead and scroll through until you find your clip. Now, once you find your clip, you're going to pop it in there. And then you're going to play it and listen to it. All right, so we're talking about today's quote, and we are going to find the picture for that quote. That's the visual we're going to use. So we're going to go into Safari, and then we're going to go to the website for class, mrwiesner.com, go, and then we're going to go down to Assignments, and finally we're going to scroll down to um, Dailies, right there. There's dailies. It's part of the news assignment Google Doc. So we go to dailies, and we're going to look for today's date. If you think you can do a thing. Touch on it, and there's the Brainy quote. Now we want to look at that Brainy quote really closely. We want to save that image. So we hold down on the image. We're going to save that image. Okay, so we've saved the image. Now we're going to go to our photo roll. Actually, we can just go straight to iMovie because we know we've saved it. Let's go to Photos, Camera Roll, and there's the image right there. Now, we don't want the image to be after our script, so we're going to grab that, pop it out of there. Instead, of we want to be during while we're talking about it. Okay, so let's see when that begins. And why don't you zoom all the way in by stretching it like this. All right. So, he said, good morning, my name is Kyron. We're going to split your clip right there. To split the clip, touch it once, go to video, and then you can press split. That will split the clip right there. Split. We would do that right after, right before we start talking about whatever it is. In this case, the quote. Today's quote has become your quote. A few things you can do is A, or a thing you can't do is A. You're right. Reporting time? Now, right before he starts to say reporting, that's where we're going to cut it again. So we're going to touch it, it turns yellow, and then we touch split. Okay, now, this piece here is where we want to replace, instead of seeing the student, we want to see that picture. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go in front of that, touch the transition there, just so the... Um, white line is in the right spot. Then we're going to touch the photo and put it in there. And it's probably not going to be long enough. Um, let's see how long this clip is. This clip is 8.6 seconds. So we need about 9 seconds of this picture showing to cover up that entire clip or to cut away to that clip. So we're going to make this longer. Right now it's 5.4. We're going to touch the yellow on this side, pull it, until we get 9 seconds worth. There we go, 9 seconds. Now, so I can see both of those, I'm going to squeeze them together. I'll slide them over a little bit. 
Okay, the next step. We want the audio, the sound, for this clip to go underneath that picture, down underneath like this. And this is how we do it. We click on the audio button, and then we touch detach. And when we touch detach, it's going to take the audio and it's going to take it down here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just slide that audio over. And we're going to try to get it exactly underneath the picture and then let it go. <coughs> now we have the audio twice. Now this one becomes muted, so if we want to listen to that one, we have to touch it, go to the audio, and then unmute it, and we'll be able to hear this one also. So you'll see now that's twice in there. We want to get rid of this one, because we don't want to see the student. We only want to hear the student and see the picture. So we're going to take that out, just like that. All right, now let's listen and see if we need to um, trim this at all. Well, one thing I can see right away is that there is a transition right here. We're going to get rid of that transition by touching it. And what we want is a cut. A cut is a bar. You'll see there's a cut over here. It's a bar. There, just like that. All right, now let's listen. Okay, so we don't want to pause it that long. We want the pause. And to get rid of the short pause, we're going to move this audio over. And we're going to try to get it to match up the audio just here. See, that's a little bit too far. I'm going to move it back a little bit. There. So when this audio ends, this audio will begin. Now the other problem is on this side, we have to get these audios to match up. So we're going to shorten this down a little bit until it matches just perfectly like that. Okay, so now let's listen. Play it. Good morning. My name is Kyle. Today is 12 plus 24. A few things you can do today, or things you can't do today, you're right. Just like for a tire, for a tire, give me a tire. Okay, now, we want to be able to see these words really well. When you put in a picture, you're going to be able to adjust the start point and the end point for the picture. Touch the first button, that will show you where it's going to start. Touch the second button, that shows you where it's going to end. And then, if you just pull across, you're going to see that when we play this, it's going to scroll across the picture. Today is 12 plus 24. A few things you can do today. Okay, that doesn't, doesn't look good at all. What we want to see is the words the entire time. So we're going to touch the picture to make it yellow. We're going to touch the beginning part, the start point. We're going to squeeze this all the way. And then we're going to try to slide it this way to make sure that that's going to be in there. And maybe we can make it bigger by making it a little bit bigger so it'll take up more of our screen. So people can read it really easily. So that's the beginning point. But now if we scroll over, you'll see that it goes off those words. So we need to also need to adjust the ending point. So we're going to adjust the ending point. And now we can't see anything, so we're going to slide up to the corner. So we can see the whole thing. Now let's see how it looks. Okay, it looks like we are moving in just a little bit. You know what would be even better is if we adjust the beginning point so that it's kind of small, kind of small, like that. And then, as we go across, it gets bigger. Let's see how big we can make it. 
touch this, make it big. That's about as big as we can make it and still get it into the frame. So that looks good now. Now, the next thing we're going to do before we upload this is we're going to add a title. So touch the first part of your video. Go to the video. I'm having trouble getting to the video. Audio, video. There we go. You're going to put in a title. in the middle, not in the opening, not in the closing, a middle title. The title text is going to go there. And we're going to put in the name of the segment. Today's apostrophe S quote. Make sure you have a capital as the first letter of each word. Today's quote. Done. So now when we play this, it's going to say today's quote. Good morning. My name is Tyler. Today's quote comes from Henry Ford. If you think you can do anything, or think you can't do anything, you're right. Recording for the Tyler. <laughs> All right. Now we just need to export this. So that way we can upload it. So we're going to touch the little arrow at the top. And then we're going to go to this button here, and we're going to save the video. We're always going to save the video as HD 720p, because that's how it's recorded by the iPad, HD 720p. This will only take a few seconds to export to our camera roll, and then we're going to upload it to Dropbox into the correct days folder. So that's how you do it. That's how you add a picture into your video. And you're going to go ahead and do that with pretty much every report that you do. You're going to either add a picture or you're going to add a video clip so that we're not looking at the student the whole time, but instead we're looking at a picture. And there we go.